Alright, this is the League Apps Beginner Guide. It'll help you get started setting everything up. Uh, first, go to LeagueApps.com to log in. You can click this Login button in the top right. That'll take you to your login page. Put in your site ID, username, and password to log in. That will take you to your site dashboard, which is the home page of the back end. You're able to view what's going on in the back end of your site from a high level. You can see your program summary, your membership, your program activity. You can perform a site search for specific members, programs, teams, products, or invoices. This is kind of the home page of the back end. You can always click this League Apps logo or the dashboard to get back here. Um, this drop down here, you're able to create as many new sites under your account as you want to. If you have different sports or different locations and you want a different website for each of them, you can create a new site for them. Uh, to view each site, click this View Site button. That's going to pop open in a new tab. And this is what the public sees. So after you make design changes, um, you're able to see what that looks like by viewing your site. Uh, in the top right here, this drop down is your Manage Account drop down. So you can click Manage Account and do things like add other admin users, connect your payment gateway, set up billing, change your login information, things like that. You're able to see what's new after our product updates. You can link to our help site by clicking this Need Help button or this orange Help button in the top right. The menu items. So Manage is your, is your main day-to-day -day one. So you can create and manage different program types. So let's say you have a camp coming up. You can click Camps, create a new camp, add the questions that you want to ask, the details, the dates, the payment information, payment deadlines, all that good stuff starts right here under the Manage tab. And even after it's created, this is where you go to look at people that have signed up and look at their registration records. You can also add locations, uh, manage and search for invoices, look at your, your members and search for members and edit their accounts, uh, and, and also do things like create e-commerce products and manage those as well. Your messaging tab allows you to do all things messaging. You can look at the tips and how-tos on some more details on, on how to send specific messages to certain people, but you can also you know, compose an email, post an announcement, view all your email contacts, anything messaging related is under here. Uh, the reporting tab allows you to look at the registration records and transaction records and filter, use our filters just to view that, or you can also export all this stuff into Excel. On the right hand side, the settings drop down is for site-wide universal settings. You can change basic site settings like your time zone uh, or sales tax. You can add a custom URL to the site. You can customize terminology. You can add your Facebook page to the site. All, all kind of site-wide things that you can control under here. Uh, the content drop-down allows you to add new pages, uh, edit and move around your menu items, and also grab widgets uh, if you want to link to, uh, to League Apps from another site. The design tab allows you to add a custom logo, add custom colors, uh, customize the fonts. We even have a CSS and HTML editor that allows you to customize the site to another level. So that's all you know, customizing the design of the public-facing site. Um, the best place to get started with League Apps is using the checklist down here. So if you click this link, it'll take you to your launch checklist. There's 10 steps. Each step kind of pops open. You can click the link to, to check each step off the list. And once you get through all 10 steps, you'll be in a good spot. Um, so hopefully this helps you get started.